Hi everyone. Hey everyone. Hey, we wanted to just say first of all that we've been incredibly inspired by all the work that's been uploaded onto the Schoolism event page. Uh, we've been so inspired actually that we wanted to start interacting with that community by creating some videos of our own. Yeah, um, as much as we, our time allows, I think it would be great to be a part of this uh, great dynamic you guys created. Uh, you guys are giving feedback to each other. That's really inspiring for us too. So we will try to create some videos here and there and contribute. Yeah, so we're going to start, uh, we can't promise that it's going to happen on a regular schedule, but as much as we can, we're going to start to pick paintings uh, and start to do feedback videos just like we would for our course. So the first video we're going to do is uh, Patty Blair. Hey, Patty, thanks for turning in your painting. You have this great still life of um, some toys on a shelf. And uh, just wanted to take a look at this and do a quick feedback video like we would for our class. So first thing I want to ask you to do is really take, take some time to squint. Um, if you squint, you'll see uh, some of the overall value relationships. It's a little bit easier to see. I'm going to go ahead and take off the color and I'm actually going to push the contrast a little bit. So you can start to see this dark and light pattern. And this is overall the impression I'm going to try to capture. And this is just a reminder to all of us. I think all of us can always continue uh, to look a little harder. But part of that is actually to try to strip away the detail that you're seeing and really uh, squint at at your subject matter to see the overall value relationships. One thing overall, Patty, was um, you're much like me. I think you see things a little more linearly. And the reason why I say that is when I look at your painting, uh, it felt like it almost felt like some of the objects had outlines on it. Um, and you're really pushing the contrast and really looking hard from object to object. And what you want to do is step back and look at overall shapes. So you can see right away the first thing I did was darken and try to get a lot of that uh, overall value relationship within the painting. But now I'm really just looking from shape to shape. So, you know, I created big, uh, bigger shapes for each of these things. Uh, and you can see I'm okay almost where some of the values bleed into each other. Because if you look at, for instance, the statue of the dog, it does almost disappear into that strip of gray uh, on the wall behind it. So I'm going to go ahead and, and, support, and uh, kind of replicate that overall feeling. Um, and here too, uh, you know, with the Adventure Time toy, I am really kind of simplifying um, the value relationship shapes and, and seeing what's dark over light and light over dark um, as far as the overall value uh, relationship within the painting. Um, and yeah, so, you know, always step back and look, take a look. And color can really be distracting. You have some pretty bold areas where color is like in the blocks. Uh, it's It can be hard. And I actually think uh, you know, as I'm, I'm painting this, I actually struggled a bit with that as well. Um, of what color should those blocks be? I kept them kind of in the value range of uh, the larger blocks with the girl on them. But the colorful blocks on the left of the painting that I'm painting right now, um, in hindsight, as I'm looking at this, I realize I might have gone a little bit bright on those blocks. Um, they might be a little a, a tad darker uh in terms of value. Um, and then at this point, I'm really just uh, hitting some details, again, uh, matching some of those values. And of course, you know, I have the photograph to kind of work off of, and you're working from life, hopefully, um, which could be a little bit more difficult. The photo uh, actually kind of uh, can simplify things for you sometimes, and it's not quite a representation of what you see. Um, but I am still treating as if I'm looking at it from life. In other words, squinting at the photo, stepping back. You can see on my monitor, I'm not working full size. I kind of like to work smaller like this at first um, because it really helps with exactly that, which is uh, values. Okay? And that's pretty much it, Patty. Um, overall, really nice job uh, with the drawing and everything. I think overall, just squint a little bit more. I think all of us can do that uh, a lot. Here's the beginning painting and uh, my finished paint over. Really hope that helps. Um, and again, uh, thank
thanks for participating and we will continue to upload paintings like this thanks patty for uploading your painting talk to you soon bye you know thank you so much for uh taking our class and signing up for schoolism subscription uh please if you enjoy the course or if you enjoy schoolism overall help spread the word and tell your friends about it and if you have any sort of feedback please uh, just reach out to us either through this forum or our own facebook page uh, and let us know what you think. We'll see you guys soon. Thanks. Thank you. Bye.